beautiful people a great welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome and thanks for being here and hitting that like subscribe and share buttons I really appreciate you on this channel I share restoration gems which can help you improve the quality of your life personally and professionally change your mindset build your confidence and enhance your spirituality so you become the best version of yourself live purposeful and authentic today i am so excited because i have really good restoration gems to share with you so let's get right into this video this is the season for your restoration hallelujah greetings greetings i trust that you are doing well my video is titled prayers and its benefits now what is prayer and what does it entails have you ever thought about or consider if there are benefits to be derived from prayer for many prayers is simply a religious ritual sometimes our view of prayer can be quite limited and we don't necessarily consider the spiritual benefits of prayer the reality is they are far greater than you may have imagined in simple words prayer can be described as giving our attention to god in a two-way spiritual relationship where we talk to god and also listen to him it is a direct address to god from us to him prayer can be life changing when we make time for it that's why it's an important and key part of our spiritual life and evolution prayer is a spiritual practice and can include adoration to god confession thanksgiving making petitions and supplications among others it is believed that god could be petitioned to intervene and effect changes in nature and in the course of world events the immediate source of this confidence comes from the teachings and examples of jesus himself such as the model prayer he offered in matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 13 luke chapter 11 verses 2 to 4 and his assurance that one has only to ask the father in order to receive what was needed matthew chapter 7 7 and luke chapter 11 verse 9. there were prayers for the selection of leaders for deliverances from prisons for the spread of the gospel for healing and so on the example we see in acts chapter 1 verse 24 acts chapter 12 verse 5 acts chapter 13 verse 3 indeed paul's teaching in philip philippians chapter 4 verse 6 echoes jesus own thus prayer was unquestionably believed to be an effective cause of god's action such that a difference resulted in human events prayer was to be placed in the midst of everyday life one understanding of prayers varies in accordance with one conception of the two parties involved mainly the divine which is god 
and the human and their relationship to each other. Do you have that fundamental belief that you are talking to God and that he is hearing you? Do you believe that God is actively present when you pray? That there is mutual involvement? You addressing God and being addressed by him? However, prayers should guard against a misreading of God's nature and will and from human selfishness and presumption. So if prayers are done only during times of, of adversity, it is a mistake. And it is a mistake made by those who are spiritually immature. Prayers promotes positive spiritual development. However, you will not derive the optimal spiritual benefits by simply becoming religious or spiritual only when you are in trouble. Many people only pray when they are in trouble, asking for assistance to get out of trouble. What they do not realize is that if they were to turn their minds to God in consistent prayer at all times, not just in times of misfortune, adversity would not, would not befall them. Therefore, adversities in life are meant to turn us towards the divine and awaken our spiritual aspiration to prayer. Prayer is prompted and guided by the Holy Spirit. Thus, the Holy Spirit is the director and interpreter of all our wishes. Prayers that are answered in a way that we do not expect give us the appearance of God's silence only because we do not hear the response we want to hear. Such unanswered prayer may really uncover a moral problem on the petitioner's part. Also, in refusing the specific answer requested, God may truly be hearing and answering our prayer if our intention is to seek God's will. Prayer may be unanswered because one does not pray according to God's will. A reminder is that answers to prayers are grounded in God's gracious graciousness and faithfulness to his promises towards us. Here are some benefits of praying. Praying gets us closer to God. Praying is an excellent way of getting closer to God. He always wants to spend time with us because we can drift away from him. Prayer offers an opportunity to re-engage with God. Proverbs 15, 29 says, the Lord hears the prayers of the righteous. Praying helps to reduce anxiety and helps us experience calm in our life. This is partly down to pausing for a moment and taking our focus off feelings of anxiety. Simply getting away from work screens or a difficult situation can be 
beneficial. The Bible also teaches that prayers can alleviate worry and anxiety. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. When we lay our situation at God's feet, we can experience peace. Praying helps us to increase our gratitude and thankfulness. Another benefit of praying every day. Our daily life can give us plenty of reasons to be resentful, bitter, jealous, or angry, which does not contribute to a happy life for ourselves or others. Prayers of thanksgiving can help us refocus on the good stuff God has given us rather than dwelling on the bad. Praying shift our focus to others. When we pray, we often find we are nudged to think of others. This is a good opportunity to pray for other people and their situations. Pausing to pray for others is not only a great thing you can do for them, it also helps us become more Christ-like. Praying helps us to put off temptation. Now temptation itself is not sinful. It's whether we give in to it that matters. One of the best ways to avoid this is by turning to God and spending time in prayer. The Bible is clear that prayer offers us an escape from worldly things that are not going to satisfy us. Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 encourages us to set our minds on things above, not on earthly things. And Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. This is a great strategy for avoiding temptation. Praying brings about miracles. While there be much about God that is a mystery to us, we know that miracles do happen. Whether they are miracles of healing of some disease, find or find miracles in alleviating financial debts, where financial debts are being paid, our relationship restored. It's indeed the miracle working power of God. For there are many, many stories of God working miracles and it usually happens through prayer. The Bible even says there is power in praying together. And this is sometimes called corporate prayer. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, Jesus says, Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I with them. I thank you for listening and hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for visiting my restoration channel. 
I trust that you have received some value from my discussion. Please leave your comments, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. This will be helpful so that I can continue to bring you more restoration gems. This is Infinite Restorer, sending you more peace, more love, more light. Until I see you again, stay well. Mm -hmm.